connected with the veil. Ten minutes have elapsed since the animal died. The blood removed from the animal is pumped back into its vessels by the autojector. The autojector ensures a normal blood circulation in the organism, replacing the action of the dead heart and lungs. The artificial blood circulation gradually induces the heart to start beating again. The action begins to be normal. The first sign. Respiration is gradually restored. The dog breathes more normally and evenly. The animal's condition approaches normal. We can now disconnect the autojector and leave the organism of the dog to maintain life with its own resources. The dog soon shakes off the effects of the anesthetic. The dog is still weak and can't move. After 10 to 12 days, the dog returns to its normal state. After the experiment, dogs live for years, they grow, they put on weight and have families. For a number of years now, three dogs have been under observation in the Volonesh Medical Institute after being revived by artificial blood circulation. This dog, Bunny, was revived in 1939 
after having been dead for eight minutes. Black Ears is the offspring of revived parents. She herself was revived in 1939 after 11 and a half minutes of death. Naida was revived in 1938 after 15 minutes of death. These experiments on the revival of dogs have shown that the process has no harmful effect on the animal organism. The question of the revival of animals is one of the most interesting problems in physiology today. Experiments on revival have added to the valuable store of our knowledge of experimental medicine.